Welcome back to the channel and welcome to my new little review studio. I've been wanting one of these for some time and I'm eventually going around to foam one together to make the videos slightly more professional. But what we are going to be looking at today is the Fox One version 2. Now there's hundreds of these videos on YouTube telling you all the generic stuff so I'm not going to waste too much time with that. There's a couple of areas that I want to see. I want to see the actual real size on the inside the sleeping area so we're going to measure that I want to see the actual real weight to see if it is what it says on the pack and also I want to see how much smaller I can get this this package here so we'll do that but anyway first things first we're going to check the weight so according to OEX It is 1.6 kg. So we'll get her on the scales here. And if I can get her to balance, according to me, it's 1.68, so we're not far off. The pack size at the minute is about 15 inches. By about six and a half inches. Okay, so I wonder could we get this a bit smaller? Because when you're stealth camping, you want to try and take a small bag. Space, every bit of space you can get is vital. So if we take out the poles and the pegs and we can find them. And try and squish it down a bit to see how much smaller we can make it. That has dramatically reduced the size. Now, yes, we haven't got these in the pack anymore, but they're easier to place in around your pack if you take them out of your tent. But so what we've got now is about 10 inches. So we've got down to 10 inches, and the weight is pretty on on point, slightly heavier than what they say. But you could um, get lighter pegs if you really want to to bring that weight down. But I, I don't mind UEX pegs, I think they're grand. I know some people change them straight away, but I always keep them. Now, that's okay, that's everything I really want to see here. So, I think what we'll do now is we'll take the tent out into the test area, and we'll get a belt, and we'll look at to see if we can cook inside it, and the actual inner sizes. Let's go. Let's see how long it takes to set up. Stop watch and start it. we go seven minutes 18 seconds it took me to do that okay before we get a look inside let's take a bit of a walk around to give you a closer look what we're working with here very low profile we have a little air vent here it 
just the one door on the far side. Oh, there is a little hatch in here, I will show you that. And we have another air vent on the bottom. Great looking little tent. Great colour. Really stealthy. I'm, I'm pleased with the, the first impressions anyway, from the outside. So, let's get a look inside. Look at that. It is basically just like a little coffin. Definitely can't stand up in it. We we'll look back. But that will serve our purpose for stealth camping extremely well. Now, let's get in. It's not very elegant to get into. It is snug. It is snug. I'm five foot ten. I'll spin you around. My feet are touching the bottom. It does go down in that point, but we are touching the bottom, touching the vent. But we do have about, well, you'd be surprised if anyone really doesn't do it justice there. About two foot or so. We'll measure it anyway. Up the far end, we've got a little pocket. So, let's set the door. Shut. So one thing I will say is my inner was tied to, or sorry, my outer was tied to my inner on this Fox 1. The Fox 2, it wasn't like that. And it, it does, you know, make it handy. It's quicker to put it up. I don't know if that's a new thing to start to do now or or that was just a fluke, but... Okay, so there's the vestibule area there. It's just not much, but your shoes will fit in there. Get your shoes in there. I wanted to see, could you cook in here? No, if I pulled that back... If I pulled that back... And... I had those army ration bags, you could do that here. Possibly if you had a low cooker. One that sits on the ground, not one that goes on top of your gas bottle. One the braided hose. You could maybe, maybe, just maybe get away with boiling water there. Very risky, but I would not advise it. But if you had a pinch, you could maybe do it. If you just pull this back, like that. At its widest point, you're talking about 33 inches. And lengthwise, you're talking about 95 inches. From that point, down to that point. But I have to remember, the point, your feet can't fit down there, so it's good for storage. And the seam up there, your head can't fit up there. Good for storage up there too. So you have storage either end, and also each side. But I forgot to show you this. There is a little secret hatch on these tents. It's not actually a door, because it stops halfway. But again, it's another little area for storing stuff. You can put your beer right there, or whatever. Get some pieces tripods, whatever if you're a YouTuber and you just want to get something out of the road. Store it out there. One thing it could do with do a couple of like, hooks or something just there. Oh no. I see a fault. I see a fault. We have a hole. We have a hole in ours. So, that will have to be returned. That's a bit of an empty climax. I was going to say, you don't have to worry about, I don't have to worry about doing a waterproof test in these tents because they're extremely waterproof. But this one won't be because of that hole. 
So that's a bit of a pain. So I got this delivered. So I'm going to have to drive up to Go Outdoors itself and get a replacement for this. But other than that, now that's not a tense fault. That's a fault in manufacturing. Or somebody's done that, but it's in a bad place. It's right there. So it, it won't do it. I could put duct tape on it or something, but what's the point of buying a new tent if you're going to start patching up straight away? <sighs> it's a bit annoying. But like I said, it's not a tent's fault. It's a great little tent. Unfortunately, it has to go back. I'll we'll have to get a new one. But um, we'll check the new one thoroughly. But other than that little hole, this will be a great little stealth tent. I'm just glad I've done a review on it here in the garden before I took it out. Because that would have been annoying. So, check your tents guys before you take them out. Well, I'm going to sign off here. And um, get it packed up. And I'll have to take this back and get one without a hole. But I just wanted to show you the things I wanted to see. I wanted to see the actual real inside size. Because they lie a lot. I think that they're not as big as they say. And um, also... Are you able to cook in it and what's the storage like? And that's what I've shown you there. So, thanks for watching, guys. A simple little review, hopefully, it was down to the point. And I'll see you on the next one. Keep her stealth.